The first unit of our book for 10th grade is Careers. On page number 9, the unit starts. This unit has three words, three keywords, and those keywords are professions, recruitment, and training. I think that you understand the word professions, and I think that you understand the word training, but let me focus on the word recruitment. The word recruitment comes from the word, or from the verb, recruit. The verb recruit means, or it refers when people try to be part of a company or an organization. Um, before I continue talking about careers, probably the meaning of the word of the word careers is not exactly what you are thinking about. When you talk about the word career or careers, we also need to talk about the word major. But what's a major? Well, probably the meaning of the word major is what you thought is what career means. So let me clarify this misunderstanding. The word major refers to the studies at the university or the studies at college. Remember that college and university are synonyms. The word major, it's also a verb. Um, specifically, when we use the word major, we have to use the preposition in after major. So the verb is to major in. For example, I majored in English as a second language. That means that I studied English as a second language at the university. Or my major is bachelor's in English. So what I studied at the university is bachelor's in English. So that's a major. What you study at a university, that's a major. So, if a major is what you study, what's a career? Well, career, it refers to different other things, such as your education is just one part of it, but you don't study a career. Basically, a career uh, involves the education, the values, the vision, the creativity, the goals, the skills that you get as a professional. So, major is what you study, and a career is more than what you study. In Spanish, uh, oh, wait a second. Let me show you an example uh, where I, I'm using career in context. It says, as in my career, I have had three jobs, and now I'm planning to start my own institute. So you see, career goes beyond, or it talks about more than only your studies. I was, I was going to tell you the meanings in Spanish for these two words. Career in Spanish means carrera profesional. And major in Spanish, it means carrera universitaria. Got it? So what you study, it's a major. And what happens next is your career. All right. There is something else that I have to tell you, and that is that you can't confuse the words major with the word mayor. They are different words. The word major, as I told you, well, it refers to something that you may study at a university. For example, literature, management, music, art and design, law, and many more. And the word mayor it refers to someone who works uh, as head of a city. On page number nine, there are four pictures related to careers. And there is one exercise, which is exercise number one. It says, look at the pictures, choose the situation that best describes, sorry, that describes what is happening in each of them? What clues helped you to decide? Well, 
What is the idea? The idea is that there are some numbers on the left that are representing each of the pictures and there are three options per number that are the options that you have or you have to choose one of those options as the best description for each picture. For example, in the case of the first um, picture, you have to decide if it's a board meeting, a general assembly, or a contract negotiation. In the, in the case of the second picture, you have to choose or decide if it's a company picnic, a workers' demonstration, or a fire drill. In the case of picture three, you have to decide if it's a conference call, a job interview, or a sales presentation. And in the case of picture four, you have to decide if it's a retirement award, a press conference, or a part of demonstration. I want to help you a little bit. We're going to analyze each of the descriptions provided for each picture. All right? So based on what I tell you, the idea is that you make the best decision for choosing the best description. Let's focus now on picture number one. The options are a board meeting, a general assembly, and a contract negotiation. In the case of the first option, letter A, it says board meeting. Let's start with the word board. A board, it's people who make decisions in an organization. For example, the president, the vice president, the secretary, the treasurer. So those people, the president, the vice president, the secretary, the treasurer, all those people, they may be part of a board. And a meeting, well, a meeting it's when people get together. It's any event when people get together. A general assembly, well, it's when all the people of an organization get together for discussing specific topics. All the people of an organization. And option C, contract negotiation, well, it's when the terms of a contract are negotiated. Now let's focus on the second picture. Let's focus on option A, a company picnic. A company picnic, well, it refers to just a picnic of a company, as simple as that. A worker's demonstration, well, let's focus on the word demonstration. A demonstration is when people protest. And let's finish picture two with fire drill. Pay attention to this one because it's kind of tricky. A fire drill, it's when people pretend. Pretend, it means like to imagine that something is happening, okay? But it's not exactly happening. So when people pretend that the place where they are is in flames or on fire, and they have to put to test the protocols in case of fire. So they have to imagine that there is a fire and they have to act as if it were fire in the place. All right, picture three, the options are letter A, conference call. And what's a conference call? Well, it's as simple as a video call, a job interview, well, it's when a candidate for a job interview is interviewed. As simple as that. And finally, a sales presentation. Let me show you this image that illustrates what a sales presentation is. So look at the girl. She, she is explaining probably how the sales of a product or a service behaved or performed during a specific period of time. And there are people analyzing what she is saying. And finally, um, picture four, option A, it says a retirement award. There are two words in this option, and they are retirement and award. Retirement, it's when you stop working for the rest of your life, when you don't work anymore. And an award, it's just a prize, a gift something that you give someone 
for honoring his or her whatever. All right, so you give someone uh, a gift for uh, recognizing what he or she has done. Second option, press conference. Uh, well, this image illustrates what a press conference is. And let's continue now with product demonstration, right? A product demonstration, it's when people get the chance of using a product, okay? As if they had already bought the product. So they use it, they test it, and in the end, they make the decision for buying or not buying the product, okay? Well, now it's your time for deciding if you have, sorry, which is the best, or which the best description for each picture is. Take the quiz for this video, do your best, and see you in the next video.